Hey, good morning, friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. And thank you for dropping by today. In Isaiah 6 and verse 8, Isaiah said, He heard the voice of the Lord make this statement. He said, Whom will I send and who will go for us? The answer to that question is a resounding one made by Isaiah when he said, Here am I, Lord, send me. All of us have heard that statement and heard messages or lessons taught on the subject of availability. One great preacher once said the greatest ability that we have is this ability called availability. Are you available for the Lord to do anything with you or through you? The truth is the Lord's constantly working, but he needs to find a person through whom he can do his work. You see, we really don't do much for the Lord in and of ourselves, and everything that we do in the energy of the flesh is vain. Therefore, we need God to do his work through our life. We're just a tool in the toolbox of the master craftsman, God Almighty himself. Are you available for him to pick up and to use? You see, Samson took a jawbone of an ass and killed a whole bunch of Philistines. The reason that he did that was because the jawbone was there and available to be used. Then again, when he was thirsty, the jawbone was available to be uh, cleaved in the middle and to bring forth water uh, to quench his thirst. Are you available for God to use you in whatever manner he sees fit? The story I was reading recently was told of a, a widow, a Christian widow in Oakland, California, who she simply couldn't get out any longer, but still wanted to serve the Lord. She read her Bible and she prayed, but she wanted to do more. She placed a classified ad in the paper there in Oakland and said, if you would like to hear a hymn played on the piano just to encourage you along life's way, here is my number. Call, request a hymn, and I'll play it for you. It wasn't long before her phone began to ring, and before you know it, she was constantly busy counseling people and playing them hymns. It wasn't that she had any grand or great ability in and of herself. She could play the piano, just wanted to be an encouragement, and her availability allowed her, from the confines of her own home, to touch the hearts and lives of multiplied hundreds of people in the Oakland area. Are you available for God to use in whatever means he sees fit? May I say most of us have this idea of what we want in our Christian life, not this submissive attitude of God, what do you want out of my Christian life? Hey, be available today. The awards for that are out of this world. Think on these things today, friend, and have a great day.